Welcome to the channel. Here I'll show repairs that I've done and demonstrate some of the techniques and the tools that I use. If you find this video useful or even entertaining, please subscribe for more. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Today I'd like to show you something that's uh, a little bit different out of the ordinary for, for myself. This is, I guess you'd call it a uh, proof of concept. Um, this is my little Unimat 3 lathe. Now there are tool snobs out there that will say that this is just a just a little guy that can't do very much and uh, is just no more than a toy. But I always say it's uh, not necessarily the size of your tool, it's uh, how you use it. Anyway, so this is proof of concept. Just um, put a stepper motor on the end of the of the lead screw here that uh, that drives the drives the lathe up and down and uh, seen on the internet you know uh, many and many uh, CNC conversions for things but they never seem to go in any into any detail so I just thought I'd put it on here and try it and, and, and see so uh, without further ado um, I'll explain how this works uh, a little bit later in the video essentially we just have one button that drives the mechanism one way and then reversing it and the other. So as I say, this is just a, a proof of, of concept. Uh, I've got the power supply here just to monitor the current to the stepper motor. I wasn't entirely sure how much current that would take or whether it would actually drive this um, drive this unit at all, but it seems to do it quite, uh, quite comfortably. Uh, it's powered by the Arduino Uno at the moment. As I say, it's just a development board. This is um, the easy driver, stepper driver, and this is just the, the 12 volt power supply for the stepper. The Uno's driven by a, a different uh, a different supply at the time. So I'm going to move on now and I'll uh, just explain the, the, the circuitry here, which is quite simple, and uh, just to show you where to get the Arduino code if you're interested in, in following that. So here's the page, and I'll give a link in the description for the easy driver examples for the Arduino. And the setup uh, really couldn't be uh, simpler. It shows the, the stepper motor, the DC input for the easy driver, and just three connections to the Arduino, uh, a ground and a step direction and uh, the stepper drive itself. And it goes through various examples and the example that I used you can see here with the two buttons for, for forward and reverse. Um, I'll just show you in a moment the, uh, the connections for the stepper motor because that may not be, be obvious. So here's the Banggood web page where I've purchased this item and uh, if you scroll down you get all the information that you need on the stepper itself and here's the four lead connection that it was supplied with. So simply the black and green is one coil, the red and the blue the other. If you come across a stepper motor and you're not uh, quite sure what they are, you can just use a, a multimeter on con continuity and uh, the two pairs that uh, that form the coil you can work out from, from that. So I hope you found that useful and I'm sure I'll be developing this project further.